Hey, what's up, y'all? So, Gilbert Arenas decided to give his take on Angel Reese. Make sure you check the sleep out. Then, I'm gonna come back with my commentary. Eat the person that everyone gave the crown to last year. That's what she's hated about. The girl that was going around taunting everybody. Uh, you got South Carolina, the girl about to shoot, she's waving her hand, turning around. But that's Caitlyn doing it. Uh, Caitlyn, so you had Caitlyn as this, this, this Michael Jordan figure last year, and she got beat. The person who beat her threw her own medicine in her face. And the people who were supporting Caitlyn didn't like it. Andrew Reese rubbed the shit in everybody's face, and that's what it was. But I took this <laughs> and everybody's like, been, you can't do that to us. It's still been extremely excessive. But that's all it is. But you, not from, not even from that fan base either. It's like random, random people. And they don't even give a about That don't even care about that. women's basketball, don't care about Caitlin Clark, don't care about Iowa, don't care about, yeah, care about college Caitlin. basketball. <laughs> do not throw the stone. They're definitely torn <laughs> when it comes to this subject. Do not do that. And then you better not come over here talking about, oh, it, you threw it at me first. We playing that victim. Don't do that. Yeah, I mean, don't do I don't... that. Don't think... do that, because you know we live in a society where this is a penalty of leadership. You're going to wear the crown. You're going to deal with the consequences. A villain, you live long enough to be the hero to see yourself become the villain. If you can't wear both hats, then you can't play the game. It's a hot kitchen. And you're going to cook up. You better be ready for the f***ing flames, because your f***ing hands going to get burnt sometimes. That's the part of it. If you ain't got no burn scars, you ain't really built for this and this is definitely the error of that. I, you know what? I don't like that they did the interview like then. They should have at least waited 45 minutes because the crying, so that saying. crying is because so they lost. lost. They lost. Yeah. That's not because, like, so it, 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 it created the victim. Yeah. Voice. Yes. Right? Like when, when Juju. Yeah, like Juju's she's clearly crying. upset that they lost the game. It has nothing to do with the media part of it. It's just. Juju same boat. Yeah, yeah, she's crying after the they game. They took an L. Right? So, you know, that's the emotion of how much they invested mentally into the game. So I will wait until she had calmed down, got her together, then do the interview. Because right there, she's already emotional because of the loss. Right, so talk about the game. Yeah. But you know the media don't care. Like, yeah, talk yeah, about, yeah, the game. about the game. But we don't know what, we don't know the questions are. We don't know what the questions are, she's, she's prompted in that, that you know, the, the media's prompting her with those questions, and she's answering them, obviously, you know. That's fine, I would have said, I just want to talk about the game. Yeah, exactly. You know, At those like points. Like, yeah, so that's why I said. It was, it was one of those when you're, you're looking at it, you're like, we know who you are, and you're not the victim. Right, we know you're not the victim, but this is right after the game. You just lost. Your ankle hurt. You know, you yeah. feel you didn't get to give the performance that you would yeah. like yeah. to. So you're most likely very emotional. So putting a camera in your face at that moment in yeah. time is going to get the victim role. And she wanted to take the opportunity to clear up yeah. the haters, at least the address it. Yeah. Right. And it's like I get it. You're addressing the fact that you've been going through some. And it could have played a part in the fact that, you know, y'all didn't make it through. But that's not the case. It's a team game. Y'all yep. lost as a team. Y'all yep. came here as a team. You didn't have this energy last year when y'all won. So when you win, the energy definitely changes when you lose. You're going to lose, and it's going to be like, damn, we didn't show up. They played a better game. Salute to all of them. We're going to be back next year, or I'm going to go to the league, whatever it is going to be. Even for Faje, like, she had issues with Angel. Actually, she said that last year, too. Like, I don't know what all the hate is about. Wasn't she? What? Um, Angel. Like, yeah. Wasn't she? Yeah, she was saying the same thing last year. I don't you know what all the with this and, and giving her the ring, ring me and all that stuff. You, you remember she won and she was still haters. like, why is it? It's like Cat Williams said, you need more haters. Like, you're supposed to want haters. So what is this whole thing about haters and what? Uh, you're supposed I mean, to want haters. Women, women, like, women like, what's, what's, you're supposed to for real. You're supposed to want haters, though. Women hate on each other the most. Most of what I'm saying is a lot. What is it? The criticism that she's probably talking about has nothing to do with pooping. That's life. That's life. I'm about to say that's life. Life hate. Okay, yeah. but that's odd. But you put your life on a social media platform to be judged and criticized. Yeah. That's what they gonna do. Just okay, like but show. she still in has the, the comments, right for that criticize. to bother her. Not, not a hate in the comments. That. No, they this is. She has the right to be able to voice that though, because if you keep attacking her for things that have nothing to do with what we, what y'all just watched or what y'all are cheering for or for against, she has the right to be bothered by that. You know what's so funny? In a sense, she is right. Right where. Think about college basketball. Besides someone like Christian Lakner, who got hate as a college kid? A lot of things. JJ, JJ Reddick, besides Duke. Other than that, you they, we, when you became a pro, when you became a pro is the first time. That's why pros are so sensitive because 
from a child all the way to the pro, they was never really criticized exactly. for much. They were always praised. And the ones that were, social media wasn't really a thing yet. And that's, yeah. that's the bigger issue now. You got social media, so you got somebody. You got like, random people. So she has to she become a pro She can escape now. it as much so as we, she wants so to, we, but So we need are, better people that can teach the youngest then with the way oh, social media is. You need people is. to be stop, of, be stop being of, so of, weird and hateful on the internet. No, it's not. No, no I mean, no, I mean, I that'll that. never happen. But how would y'all have handled it when, you know what I'm saying, if you had social media? I'm about to tell you right now. So. When the article came out my third year and they asked me about preparation for Carolina, I said, playing at Carolina is like being in jail. Mm -hmm. Because my comments were taken out of context. Mm -hmm. It's a preparation. I'm like, I'm ready to go to the league. I'm treating this as a, as a step, as like a, a bus stop. This is a stop in the journey. So when she talk about hate, and I hear people talk about hate, like there are certain players that dealt with hate to a certain extreme, and then there are players who had to deal with it in real time, every game, where you, so you, you see your fans turn against you. Who? Okay, but that has to do with like. In college? In college. That's huh? bad. Like, that's basketball. But th what I'm saying is. But how did that affect you? I had to put it in the back of my mind. I had to, I had to literally ignore it. I'm on you the literally, boards. I'm you, on the yeah. forums. But I'm reading this. That, that's but that's, but what, that's where the hate came from back then, pre social media, right? You had the fan boards, the message boards, and, and she was yeah, super Yeah, but like now you can't you even do what you want to do. Though. But can you say you had tough skin? Because you literally hate North Carolina. Yeah, you know, I hate them because I have reason to, not because but, of the fans, but not because of the ridicule. I have, it's personal, it's internal. It ain't got nothing to do with the fans. I love the fans because I know what comes with the good and the bad. When you play great, they love you. When you play like shit, Man, get him out of here. She's not talking about basketball-related things that are being said to her constantly. Well, she's putting her life on social media, and that's, a, that's the So you're not supposed if to you, do that? Yes, don't Listen, do if it. you put your life on social media, don't I'm going to say it. whatever I want. Hey, you know what it is. Like, that, like, everybody but gets that, But y'all, on the other hand, y'all like, well, she has this great brand, and she's building her brand. How are you supposed to do that without social media now? You have to hey, ignore I the criticism. I, I, I can, I can, I can because, because I'm an expert at... I'm, because I'm an expert at social media, yes. right? <laughs> she has to, this is all hoopers, right? You have to understand, 10% of the world is going to love you no matter what you do. 10% of the world is going to hate you no matter what you do. How you play with the 80% is, the people who are commenting, those are the 10% that hate you. Yeah. Right? No matter what. You don't, who gives a f*** that anyone thinks, right? Oh. I don't know what people say in my comments. I like it and I thumb it up. Yep. Gilbert, you're gay. Like thumb. Ah. <laughs> your kids are gay. Like thumb. I don't give two shit what you say yeah. because it don't matter. What you're saying don't matter because it's not. We both know it's not true. Right. Right. We both know I'm not ugly. <laughs> <laughs> you post something that has nothing to do with basketball and you have a comment section full of are you even a basketball player anymore? Or is this what you want to do instead of hoop? Why aren't you in the gym? Da 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 da. Like it's weird. Like, so why are you paying attention to it? Why? Are you it doesn't bother me anymore. I just think yeah. it's like y'all don't deal with that. Kind we of do stuff. every day. But when y'all were, we're not hypersexualized on the internet for existing. What you mean? You're not explaining it though. You posted something that doesn't do with basketball, right? Like the pictures you post on your Instagram. So I'm not supposed to embrace how I look and be confident in how I look. You can do that in your house. To with your friend in the text up. message thread in the group chat you put it out there because you want to say you look good or you want women to say you look nice but then they giving you opposite comments or we're trying to make money or you're trying to make money you have to deal with the fact that you're going to put this out here turn your comments off yeah how about that turn them comments off how about that you don't have to hear nothing don't See do nothing. that don't do that that's what's up y'all so that was gilbert arenas and the squad and they gave their take on and you Reese, the incident that happened one day ago when they lost, and they actually lost to Caitlin Clark's team, and this is the backstory of it all. So Caitlin Clark, she was actually clowning the opposite team. Every team that they played against, she was also clowning the coach and the staff of the other team and the audience as well. And then when they faced Andy Reese's team, they actually got beat in the final. And when that happened, that was when Andy Reese decided to do the Tony Yeo hand gesture in front of her face. And she got a lot of flack for that. And that's apparently when the hate started. And she's saying that she received, you know, a lot of hate on IG. And y'all got to realize that this is women that we are speaking about that was men I mean I think that we're ready for that and 
if that happened to us we're gonna just you know keep it pushing especially if you're an athlete but this is a moment and i also think that i think this was a easy way out instead of accepting the l she decided to cry at the press conference and make herself a victim and i think that it would be better if she actually took the l and said okay i took the l next year i'm gonna i'm gonna take the w but instead she decided to make herself a victim and i know that her ankle had been hurting a lot and that's probably why she wasn't able to get the performance that she wanted against Caitlin Clark. But there's a new year, new season, next year. And I know that she's going to be victorious because I actually like her. But what she did right here, started crying and make herself a victim. I'm against that. But I actually want to know what y'all think about this. So make sure to like this video, subscribe and watch next videos. So